Russia government under the leadership of President Vladimir Putin has banned and expelled six British diplomats over alleged espionage and threatened to terminate the British diplomatic mission in the country if investigation shows employees of the British mission are also spying to weaken the powers of Russia. The Russia Federation took the decision as the United Kingdom, UK Prime Minister, Kerr's Thomas scheduled arrived United States of America, USA to meet with President Joe Biden to discuss granting the troubled Ukraine the permission to use USA and UK long-range missiles inside Russia. Putin earlier reacted to the plan to allow Ukraine use the weapons, saying, such will escalate the war into NATO, European and America countries. The USA long-range missiles are already deployed to the war-torn country, Ukraine, but the country has been on restriction not to use the weapons inside Russia since it began its retaliatory military offensive campaign against Russia a few months ago. The diplomats' activities threatened Russia's security and were aimed at ensuring Moscow's defeat in its war against Ukraine, according to local media. The six British diplomats in Russia were accused of spying and their accreditation were revoked, according to the Kremlin's security agency, FSB statement on Friday. The FSB claimed that it received documents indicating that they were sent to Russia by a division of the UK Foreign Office, whose main task is to inflict a strategic defeat on the country and that they were involved in intelligence gathering and subversive activities. The move comes two days after the US and UK pledged nearly 1.35 billion euros in additional aid to Kyiv and as Ukrainian officials renewed their pleas to use Western-provided missiles against targets deeper inside Russia. The FSB said that, if similar actions are detected among employees of the British diplomatic mission, the FSB will demand early termination of their missions in the Russian Federation. The British Prime Minister, Keir Starmer has arrived in Washington for talks with US President Joe Biden on allowing Ukraine to fire missiles supplied by the West into Russia. On Thursday, the Prime Minister said that Russia started the war against Ukraine and can end it right away. The UK Prime Minister, Keir Starmer stated this while speaking with reporters on, on Thursday following Russian President. Vladimir Putin's warnings that the use of Western arms in Russia will draw NATO into war. Putin made the statement in reaction to growing insinuations that the US and the UK are considering easing restrictions on Ukraine using long-range weapons to strike targets deep inside Russian territory, something Kyiv has requested for months. Putin said while speaking with reporters as reported by the state TV that such a decision would mean nothing less than the direct involvement of NATO countries, the US and European states, in the war in Ukraine. Adding, it would also mean that, the very essence of the conflict will change, and Moscow, will take appropriate decisions based on the posed threats. Putin has also claimed that the Ukrainian military would not be able to use cutting-edge Western arms without direct assistance from NATO militaries. Speaking during the flight to Washington for his meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden, Starmer said, Russia started this conflict. Russia illegally invaded Ukraine. Russia can end this conflict straight away. To reiterate, it was Russia who started this in the first place. They caused the conflict. They are the ones who are acting unlawfully, the British Prime Minister stressed. The EU has also rebuffed Putin's threats. EU spokesperson Peter Stano said that Putin regularly makes false statements and that nothing will change. Brussels' stance as long as he continues his illegal war against Ukraine. Starmer and Biden are expected to discuss long-range strikes during their meeting on September 13, but it is unclear whether the final decision will be made that day, according to foreign media. As reported on Friday, a source close to President Volodymyr Zelensky told the Kyiv Independent that the Ukrainian president provided a detailed explanation on the need for long-range strikes to American and British top diplomats, Antony Blinken and David Lamy, during their visit to Ukraine on September 11, 2024. According to the Ukraine-based local media, 
Kiev Independent, Ukraine has received shipments of long-range ATACMS and Storm Shadow missiles from the US and the UK, but the two countries did not permit their use inside Russian territory so far. Kiev has repeatedly appealed to its partners to lift the ban and allow Ukraine to counter Russian aerial strikes and ground offensives effectively. BBC reported that the six diplomats banned by Russia left Russia many weeks ago. Saswa Khan Nebel, bringing you the news in a more digital way.